have been right about a lot of YouTube couples. I knew Damo and Chrissy were not gonna last. I knew Jazz and Tay were not gonna last. There's actually a couple more couples that I know is not gonna last neither, but I haven't said it yet. But I will eventually. The ones I'm gonna talk about today is Easy and Natalie. If we broke up, who would be the one to announce it? Oh my god. <laughs> Literally the day of. I swear. No, probably the end. Oh, not even the geez. day of. I'm telling y'all, y'all would be the first to know. Y'all would probably know before I know. Yo. All right, it would, she would be tweeting it in the moment of us breaking up. Yeah, I'll it's be over. First. I'm not gonna lie, I'll be the first. You already know. You already know. Easy. It ain't funny and it ain't cute. Now y'all are probably wondering why do I believe that Easy and Natalie are not gonna last? I've been saying it for a while and I still say it now. But before I get into it, I will say this. They are in love with each other. Their relationship is real. I don't know why people think it's fake, it's not but they're not a forever couple. And the way things are going, it's not even gonna last a long time. They've only been in a relationship for less than a year. And there's been so much drama, so many issues. Most of it is easy. Easy needs to stop with the Twitter fingers. She's getting the public involved in her relationship. When y'all are having problems, keep that behind closed doors. You two are the only ones that can come up with solutions to your issues. It's gonna ruin your relationship easy. Wake the fuck up. Every time you get emotional, you go to social media. It affects not only your relationship, but your businesses. See, these two are not just a couple. They're also partners in businesses. And you cannot tell me that it does not affect their business, cause it does. Because they had an issue in their relationship, they could not film or post any videos all of last week. Some couples are not able to work together. You have to learn how to separate the two. And if you can't continue your business, that's a problem. Now let's go back in time when Easy first fucked up. You know, when they first started the relationship. Can anybody say red flag? Not too long ago, I, you know, I was going through a lot of things and behind the scenes with, you know, her family and i had made some tweets you know i made some tweets and it was pure selfishness pure emotions that came up that i was triggered by from the past you know and i didn't know how to express that and i decided to take it to social media because i'm so used to this social media life and being real and stuff like that it's just some things you shouldn't do because it will ruin a relationship y'all remember that drama it was about 10 months ago and quite honestly it doesn't matter what happened with her and the family we don't need to know about it and now here you are in the position of trying to fight for your girl back because natalie ain't having it this is when she had to leave you and go to Miami. You have a huge heart, a loving, bright soul. But you also, man, like, you you really have to learn how to deal with certain things. You need to learn how to deal with your emotions, not just react. You know, you, you gotta you gotta learn how to control that. I don't I don't know what else you want me to tell you, but I'm not the go. See, that's the first time Natalie told you that what you did was stupid. That should have been a lesson learned. You already know what kind of domino effect is gonna happen when you tweet something out there because you have a lot of fans. And quite honestly, most of Easy and Natalie's fans are Easy's fans. So when Easy's hurt, they're gonna come to your defense and attack the fuck out of Natalie. Your partner, the person that you love and care about. Don't you remember? Let me refresh your memory. I thank you guys so freaking much for all the support you guys been giving me personally. But I am very, very, very disappointed in a lot of you guys, how you guys are dealing with Natalie, you know? And mind you, you're entitled to have your own opinion, but it's like, damn, like I never thought y'all could be so ruthless. And not everybody, not 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 all of you that are watching this video are ruthless, but a lot of you guys have been giving Natalie so much backlash. And it's like, bruh, like y'all support her, y'all say y'all support her here in the moment that she does something that y'all probably don't agree with. It's like, we, we not gonna support you, Natalie, because you did something we didn't agree with. So we're not gonna support you, we're gonna bash you. And that's something I just, I can't tolerate, you know, and I, I, don't, I don't appreciate that. Then stop 
putting your business out there. You're making the situation worse. Fuck everybody else's opinions. Worry about your girl's feelings. Cater to her needs, to her wants. Work on yourself. Instead, you got the whole world talking shit to Natalie. So after this situation happened, you would think Easy would not go to social media again because she knows what can happen. You don't want that anymore, right? Then you had the drama again with the family and Easy with that fake ass prank. You guys know what prank I'm talking about. The prank that wasn't real. So we're gonna go ahead and skip over that because that shit don't count. And here we are, 10 months later, present time. Here goes Easy again. She got a little insecure. And what better to do but to go live? What's T, sis? Why Natalie acting funny? I don't know, y'all see where she at? That mean, I don't know what that means. She ain't answering my calls. She ain't tell me where she was going. I ain't talked to Natalie in like, what? I ain't talked to Natalie in like two days. I texted her. I ain't getting a response. Her phone probably shut off. You know what I go. Mm-hmm. You would think she learned from the first time. No, she didn't. She did not. She almost lost her that time. Girl, you did it again. You know what this is called? Insanity. Doing the same thing and expecting different results. I don't get it. Where's your head at? And of course, Easy cried all the way back into her arms, apologizing, kissing ass, doing as much as she can to win her heart over again. I ain't lying. Check it out. I'm sorry. I, I was stupid. I was insecure. It was childish. It's because you wasn't responding to my text, but because I told you not to text me a few days ago because I got upset with you over something petty. I'm sorry, baby. I'm sorry. Cut the camera off of me. I'm not going live. You're going live. I'm going live, guys. I fucked up big time. My nat nap is everything to me, and I fucked up big time. Literally, I've done this, what, like, twice, you know? I run a social media when I'm fucking upset and insecure. Now, if you caught that, she said she went to social media twice. What happened to that fake drama in the middle? You know, the ones that everyone thinks is real. And you easy gave me shit for it, for calling it out. Because if that second one was real, it'd be three times. Interesting. <laughs> delete the Twitter. Delete the Twitter. I'm yeah, delete the your Twitter account. Delete it? Yes. Yes. I'm serious. What? Yes. I could, I don't know. I got business. Um, you told me you would delete your Instagram account if I wanted you to. Delete the Twitter, baby? Delete your Twitter account. Yeah. All right. That See, that right there is a problem. And I'm going to get to Natalie. Do not force your partner to do certain things, especially if it's their business. Regardless of her Twitter fingers, social media is Easy's income. It's what she does for a living. Not only that, you should be able to trust her. And because of Easy's wrongdoings, and I get it, she's got to earn that trust again. But forcing her to delete Twitter is not the solution. Now, it's your choice if you want to take Easy back. You already know what she's capable of doing. She did it twice already. And you are crazy if you think she ain't gonna do it again. Girl, it's Easy. <laughs> She's an emotional, sensitive person. She can't control herself. She needs to work on that on her own. I'm calling it right now. She's gonna have Twitter fingers again. I promise you. Now, Natalie, I'm not done with you. You posted a video on your channel talking about your experience about coming out of the closet. There's a lot of things that you said in that video that I did not like. But I'm just gonna talk about one statement that you made that had me questioning your initial motives. I'm gonna react to it right now. Just, just a little part. Basically, my best friend admitted her love for me and I had to choose up. I had to either decide I'm going to let the opportunity pass me by and she could possibly fall in love with somebody else or I have to give it a try. And I'm the type of person who really lives by the motto YOLO, okay? You only live once, so you better make sure you have good stories to tell. Oh, nat nat. YOLO. YOLO though. You only live once, girl. You ain't bungee jumping. You ain't jumping out of a plane. You ain't partying your ass off. You are talking about a relationship, about a person's feelings, their heart. You better make sure you got good stories to tell. Is that all you want from this whole experience? This relationship is a good story for you to tell in the future? Like, yeah, 
I dated my best friend. It was my first girl and girl experience, you know. Actually, we filmed the whole thing. You can go on YouTube and watch the whole series. Is that your story to tell? This relationship ain't it. If you want it to last longer, easy, stop running a social media every time you guys get into an argument or disagreement or whenever you get jealous or insecure. Natalie, get your shit together. And this whole thing about pros and cons, about dating a woman, girl, you dated one woman. You can't put all of us in the same damn category. What you could say is the pros and cons with dating easy. Cause girl, that's the only woman you dated. <laughs> what the fuck? All right, y'all, let me stop. Comment below, let me know what you thought about this video. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And please hit that bell so you can get notified every time I upload. See you in the next video. Peace.